Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Creative Fabrica. So you've probably heard about Creative Fabrica because by this point, who hasn't? Um, and you know, if you've heard about it and you've logged on, if you're anything like me, you took one look and you're like, I don't even know where to start. This is so much. It is overwhelming. I'm done. That was my first reaction to Creative Fabrica years ago, and they've just added and added and added to it. I'm going to walk you through it. Very basic, very simple, so you can start finding the items that you actually want, and you can start downloading them. So if you'll just click the link in the description below, it will take you to this page here. This is my personal landing page for Creative Fabrica. This is how, um, this is how you'll get there if you're going through one of my tutorials. And you can see there's some different options here. Sign up for free, get your first 10 items for free, and then your subscription will auto renew at $9 a month. You can do that. Uh, if you automatically upgrade to this $4.99 a month, which is billed once a year at $59, they didn't say that here, but that's how they do that. You'll get everything for that one payment of $59 once a year. But Let's just click right in. So I'm just going to click right here onto Creative Fabrica. If I click try it for free, it's going to tell me I already have it. So I'm just going to click up here. And you can see right now they've got the Christmas in July thing going on. But again, this is where it tells you if you upgrade now, if you click this to begin with, you're going to do it's going to be $59 and you get a whole year worth of unlimited downloads. And I'm going to show you where all the best things are. Okay. A quick overview of this stuff. So, um, your homepage is going to be the more you use Creative Fabrica, the more the homepage is going to be geared towards your likes and what you are looking for. If I scroll down my homepage, this has got stuff that appeals to me that Creative Fabrica knows I'm going to like because they know what I search for. So you can see it's got some really cute things. And yes, I scroll through this all the time. When I am looking for ideas or when I am looking for freebies to give out in my um, newsletters, I always scroll through this because it has the greatest things. So the more you use it, the more this will be tailored to you. And it just goes on and on. I mean, you can just keep scrolling and it's going to keep showing you things. But let's talk about this menu. So we have fonts. And then we've got all these different kinds of fonts. We have graphics. Um, this is any kind of graphic art. It's all in this graphic section. 3D, these are 3D crafts, 3D SVGs, 3D um, paper projects, like a lot of fun stuff. I really love that section. Spark, this is all the AI, artificial intelligence. You can create art, texts, um, patterns, which I use for um, digital paper. And I have another video in here on how to use um, some of this 3D stuff, how to use some of these create texts. I use this for my Etsy listings. So I will link to the video on how to create um, your Etsy listings. I'll link that right here if that's something you're interested in. Then you've got crafts. These are all SVGs. This craft section is geared towards SVG files. We've got needlework. If you do embroidery or crochet, it's got your DXF files in here. Um, classes. You want to learn some Cricut stuff. You want to learn some graphic design, illustrating. That's all in here. CF Premium. Now, this is the little caveat to this unlimited access. Anything in CF Premium is not included with unlimited access. Um, this is where they have the new Stranger Things. Um, section and just a couple special designers that were like, mm, I don't want my stuff to be offered for free to everyone in the world. Okay, tools. This is another one I come to a lot. You can get to CF Spark from Tools. It's also here. And Font Cloud. Oh, Font Cloud is my best friend. I also have some tutorials on Font Cloud. I will link to those. Font Cloud is. Um, how you, it's your font manager. It's how you pick which font you want to use for which project. Okay, POD, bundles, freebies, and gifts. Okay, that's a lot. Let's unpack it quickly so that you know how to use these sections, and then I'm going to show you how to search and actually find what you're looking for. Okay, 
So fonts, that's pretty simple. Do you want script fonts, display fonts, and um, black letter fonts? Script fonts are the most popular section. You click it and it is going to bring you the fonts that are trending and popular first. Unless for some reason you don't want it that way, you can undo the sort by popularity and you can sort by latest, which will bring you the newest fonts first. So this is how you're gonna use the fonts. If you don't really know what kind of font you want, you can come down to um, browse all. I'm gonna tell you, that's a lot. There's a lot, a lot of fonts. So narrow it down here is probably easier. Graphics, okay. So we've talked about the 3D SVGs. You can get to them from here as well, but here's their section here. Home crafts, coloring books, coloring books for kids and adults, teaching materials. If you're a teacher and you don't have a Creative Fabrica account, go get one. So much free for your class right here. Love it. Product mock-ups, I use these a lot. Illustrations, backgrounds. It's all here, you just click into it. Um, I do the illustrations a lot. I like to really um, differentiate between my SVGs and my illustrations, and I like to access them from their own personal spot to weed out the things that I don't want. So if I click this illustrations, that's all I have here. I don't have SVG files. I don't have fonts. I don't have anything that's not an illustration. And then I spend hours of my time. Oh my goodness. Summer grandma sublimations. Seriously? Okay. I spend too much time here, but that is one way to narrow things down. Um, 3D. Oh, I love these too. Let's do flowers. 3D flowers. Okay. So it's going to pull up all of these 3D flower projects. This is not designs. These are not PNG or sublimation designs. These are SVG files that you can make that are these 3D flowers. It's going to come with the file and it's going to come with instructions. All right, let's move on. So we talked about Spark a little bit. I'm going to leave that one alone. I've got those videos linked previously and I'll link them down in the description too for how to use some of these crafts. Okay. So let's say um, I am looking for Easter SVGs. So I'm gonna come to crafts and I'm gonna go to Easter. And all I have here are SVG files that are Easter themed. That's a nice, easy way to narrow it down, especially if you don't know what you want. You know you want to make something for Easter, but you don't know what. Come over here to crafts, Easter, click it, and look and see what you think you might want to make. Um, so the classes, we talked about that a little bit too. I have some classes in here too, if you want to check those out. See a premium tools, got that other video. Okay, so let's just talk about um, POD. What does this mean? Print on demand is what this means. So a lot of the items that you see in here are going to say full commercial use or full commercial use with POD. What does that mean? So if it's full commercial use, that means you can use it to create designs. You can use it to create products to sell. Um, you can use it for almost all of your needs, except you cannot just take this design and put it on a t-shirt just like it is with no alterations and sell it. You have to make some kind of an alteration to use these designs. But with full POD usage, that's exactly what you do. You use it just like it is. So I clicked into this and let me find an actual full on design that is full POD. I'm just gonna click into this over 650,000 graphics. Okay, these are full POD. Boho Retro, what did she call it? PNG Sublimation Bundle. Okay, because it says full POD usage allowed, I can take this design right here, create your own magic. I can upload it into Printful um, or Printify, whichever POD site you like to use. Guess what? I have videos on those too, and I'll link it. And I can just take this design. I can put it straight over there onto a t-shirt. I can load that into my Etsy shop and sell it just like that. 
That's what this full POD is. If I was just getting a commercial license without POD, I'd have to add some kind of other elements to this to make it um, within compliance, to make it legal to sell it like that. All right, let's talk about how to search. So let's say I want to make a Hello Fall t-shirt. So I'm gonna type Hello Fall. Right? A good place to start. I scroll and you're like, wait a second, there's there's a lot here. I don't need an SVG. I want to put a sublimation design on my t-shirt. So let me narrow this down. Okay. So here's your initial search. Don't come back up to here. This is where you started your search. When you want to narrow your search, you need to come here and filter your search. So Let's first filter it to just graphics. We don't want crafts, we don't want fonts, we don't want SVGs, we just want graphics. Okay, so now I just have graphics in here, but that's still not quite what I want. I want like a fully made design. So I'm gonna narrow this a little bit. Let's do Hello Fall Sublimation. Okay. So now look, okay, this popped up, that's cute. That's cute. Oh, lots and lots of cute stuff that is coming up now because I have narrowed my search down here. Always narrow from here. Don't go back up to the main search and start over. Okay, so let's say I'm seeing some great things here and I like the designs, but I don't like the font on any of them. I wanna add my own font. So what I need to do is take out this hello fall. That's going to make it say hello fall. If I just take out the word hello, now I have fall sublimations. Okay. All right. Let's see. Okay. So let's say I like this design right here. I think this is cute. Um, it's something that I think I could maybe want to use in my project. What you want to do, instead of just clicking onto the design that you like, click into that shop. If you like this design, you're probably gonna like the other things that she has in her shop too. Most designers have a feel to their work and their things are similar. So I'm gonna click into this shop name here, Suda Digital Art. Alrighty, let's see here. Okay, she's got 423 items and I only wanted to look at her fall items. So I'm gonna use this search here. This is only a search within this shop. This is not the main search in Creative Fabrica. So I'm just going to type fall and lo and behold, it pulls up all of the fall designs that this designer has. And there are a lot of cute ones. This is great. Here's the one that initially drew us in to the shop. I like that one. I like that one. I like this one. I like this one. Like I said, you click into the shop, you're narrowing yourself down. You're giving yourself more options, but it's in the wheelhouse of what you already wanted. That is one way to narrow this down. Another way, let me click back out. So I've got to get completely out of her shop. Okay, so we're back out here to the main search of fall sublimation. Okay, so I am gonna narrow this more. I forgot to do that before. I'm gonna narrow it to the graphics and then I'm gonna take it further down to illustrations. Let's really, really, really narrow this down because there are millions of designs on Creative Fabrica and if you don't narrow it, you're gonna get overwhelmed and you're gonna give up. Okay, so I like this. And let's see, I like that. I'm kind of getting a theme here. I'm kind of thinking I want to do these fall coffee drinks. I want my t-shirt to have fall coffee. Great, I can narrow this down even further. Fall coffee sublimation. Now that's all I'm gonna get. Okay, from here, I can say, yep, this is the one for me. SH Digital Shop. Let me just make sure that's the one for me. I'm gonna click into her shop and I'm going to type fall. 
and yeah I still really really like this one so I'm gonna click this one and she's in, she even has it mocked up onto a few shirts so we can kind of see what it'll look like on different colors that's convenient oh I like that very cute okay so you will click download it will download your file you can see mine coming right here and we can't just upload this straight to a pod site and print it because we don't have pod but that's okay the whole point was we wanted to add our own text of hello fall so from here i will take my downloaded file and i will put it into canva and i will type hello fall and whatever fun font i want and then i will have my t-shirt but that right there is how you work through this majorly overwhelming amount of greatness. You narrow it, narrow it, narrow it. You start with a general broad idea. You narrow down to a search. You narrow your search down and down and down until you find exactly what you want because it's there. Whatever you want is on Creative Fabrica. I promise you it's there. All right, guys. So go get your all access subscription and start downloading files. We'll see you next time.